Do you think your hand's gonna stop this arrow? <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> okay, okay, show me. Lydia, please! Please, Lydia! And nothing is quite so capable of causing pain as a venomous frostbite spider. Out of my way, you silly creatures. I am a Khajiit. I think I will name it Arachnia. Spin a web trap. Oh, beautiful. It has pooed me a web of destruction. What's up, guys? My name is ESO, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing some of the new content added to the Creation Club by Bethesda for Skyrim Special Edition. So, firstly, I just want to mention we have the Nordic Jewelry. Now, I'm not even going to bother reviewing this because I know it's terrible. All it does is add three items, a ring, a circular, and a necklace into the game. There's also a quest to obtain it, but it's not even a good quest. And to be honest, it's just some aesthetic items. There's no unique enchantments or anything. It doesn't even look good. It doesn't even look good. It Just don't buy this. Don't waste your money on this. It's ridiculous. Even for $2, I cannot recommend it at all. Rare Curios. In comparison, this is only 100 credits. This is literally the best mod they've released on the Creation Club, in my opinion. If you like alchemy like me, then you'll find it quite exciting. So in order to find these unique ingredients from Oblivion, the Shivering Isles, and also Morrowind, these ancient nostalgic ingredients, you must come here to Whiterun, and then Whiterun Stables, where I'm standing just now. I have no idea what's going on with these horses and why people are walking. <laughs> what is that? What is that guy doing? <laughs> Okay, so I'm here in White Run, uh, next to the stables, and you're gonna find a Khajiit caravan just here. And you can talk to Rasad, and you can ask him what he's got for sale. There are many Khajiit caravans all over Skyrim, but I'm gonna look at the ingredients. He's got a pork bulb root. I think this is from Morrowind. 83 gold, that's quite expensive. Now, he's only selling one ingredient right now, but what we can do is we can save the game like this. And if I punch him once, and then if I reload that save I just made, it actually resets his whole shop inventory. So you can repeatedly do that and literally farm all the unique ingredients out of him. I'll show you them all in a moment. But as you can see, look, now he's got a whole host of different ingredients. Some fruits. Wow, look how beautiful these retextures look. I mean, this is only... Literally $0.66, I think, for 100 credits. It looks amazing, like all these different ingredients that have been added to the game, all retextured, all redone. Heart of the Order from Jigalag restores health. We can eat this and discover the new properties. Hunger Tongue from Morrowind. Like, they just look incredible, and so much effort has gone into this mod, and you can make some really cool new potions with them. Uh, and all their new effects and stuff. And I think it's really cool that they've done this. Obviously, you can only buy them from the Khajiit Caravan, so it takes a while to get all of them. But um, they've also added poison apples, well card stones, which you remember from the Aelid dungeon, so you can use them to restore magicka. And you can make, and as I said, the poisoned apples, which are always fun. They're, they basically do the same damage as just a normal poison potion. So it doesn't really make that much difference. It's more just for nostalgic reasons that they've been added. It's still pretty fun that you can use them, but that's basically it. You know, obviously, if you're not into alchemy, this thing won't be very useful to you. But, um, you know, you can just buy them. You can eat absolutely everything and see, you know, what happens to you. Maybe we die. I don't know. Let's find out. I have digested thousands of ingredients apart from the vampire dust. My screen is literally black. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, am I dead? I'm invisible. Holy crap. I just got paralyzed temporarily. My screen is blue. Well, I am suppose you can have some fun with these ingredients. It's literally so cheap to buy them. It's one of the most valuable things I've seen in the Creation Club. Like, you know, in terms of effort to value, that the amount of effort that's taken for this person to create, I'm impressed. I think that's really good. So the next thing we're going to look at is the pets of Skyrim. Check the notices at the Bannered Mare. So the Bannered Mare is here in white front, of course. Let's head on inside and check out these notices to see how good these pets of Skyrim really are. So here we are. We've added a note to the game just here. 
for sale. One tamed mountain goat able to carry a hefty amount of weight to the throat of the world and back again gives good milk. If interested in purchasing, see Halvir in Rorikstead. So Rorikstead is located just here on the map. And if you guys have not seen my lore video on Rorikstead, oh my god, you need to watch it. There is a secret Daedric cult in this village. I'm telling you, I made a massive theory video about it. And uh, you guys will definitely find it interesting. I'll link it down below in the description. Oh, for goodness sake, there's a bloody dragon. Right, okay, the dragon's dead. Let's go and speak to my man. Can I buy your goat? Of course. Here's my offer, 200 gold. Okay, I've got to pay for it. You've got to pay for it with real money and in-game. Oh, it's Hilda the goat from, from the quest with the drinking quest. The Daedric quest, oh my god. It, we've actually brought Hilda the goat, that's amazing. Here is Hilda the goat. Look at it, it's beautiful. Hey there, buddy. Want to come with me? Ah, uh, you're a good goat, aren't you, Hilda? So, this is actually quite a useful companion. It does absolutely nothing in combat other than look cute and get... It really annoys me, actually. It keeps on getting in the way and it will never move out of the way. It will just sit there. So, it always blocks doorways and that's really... It really fucking triggers me, to be honest. You shall not pass! But one really good thing you can do you can say, hey, I need you to carry something. And then he'll be like, Bruh! and then you can um, obviously give him, you know, all that armor you've been carrying around, like this necklace and stuff after you've explored a dungeon. And after you've given him everything you want to carry, or you can say, wait for me at home, or you can say, wait for me in the city. And then I can say, okay, I want to go and sell my stuff in Markath, and I'm going to send you there. And then Hilda will venture off very slowly into the wilderness to take your goods there. And you can meet her outside the city and go and sell everything without being over encumbered. So that is pretty useful. Oh my god, there are some wolves here. They are trying to hunt my pet goat, Hilda. We must defend her. Get wrecked. You looking at me, mate? Get wrecked. Nobody touches my goat. Not even me. Or Lydia. Lydia, you can touch my goat. You can touch whatever you want. Okay, let's look at the next quest. Let's have a little read here. Came into the town a few days ago looking for work. The folk here are nice enough and there's plenty of wheat and potatoes needing to be harvested. So, I've got a steady supply of coin coming in. I don't think I'm going to need my old pack goat Hilda for much longer. All my bones are starting to crack and my adventuring days are long over. Now I just need to find someone willing to take care of her. Maybe get a few coins for her too. There's strength in those old bones of hers yet. Ah, oh, now I'm going to miss wandering the wilds of Skyrim. I saw so many strange and wonderful things out there. Pine trees as tall as mountains, old Nord tombs. I even once stumbled across a wandering spirit made of pure ice. Even ran across a few folk trying their hand at taming different types of creatures. Don't know why they'd want anything but a loyal dog or a trusty goat like my Hilda though. Some of them beasts out in the wild just aren't meant to be tamed. Ran across an alchemist with a pet rabbit and almost got robbed by a thief with a tamed fox. But I suppose a rabbit or a fox could be docile enough. But that pickpocket trying to train a skeever must have been as mad as old Sheo. And I don't want to think too hard about the vampire. Could have sworn it had a trained frostbite spider. Giving me the shivers just thinking about it. So he's just told us about all the other pets in Skyrim we can get in a law friendly way. And now they've all appeared on our map for the taking. So here I am in Riften, and apparently the tame Skeeva is down in the Rataways. So let's go down into the Riften Thieves Guild, I guess, and try and find this tame Skeeva. So I was exploring the Rataways, and we came across the Skeeva. Find a key to the Skeeva's cage. Ah, oh, some skooma. Oh, it's empty. Damn it. Oh, there's a dead body here. Okay. This must be the previous owner. So I've got the key now. He's got 25 gold and he's got a pickpocket's journal. I ain't been having no luck at lifting gold off them rich merchants at the market. And those thieves guild wits don't want me. Said I'm too clumsy, I'm running out of food in skooma, and I need to start killing some of these skeevers down here for me. One of those skooma dealers at the docks told me he knew a guy from Morrowind who trained a mix of hounds to distract his marks. Helped him steal a heaping pile of gold, he said. 
don't know if I believe a word of it, but what else am I gonna do? I might as well give it a try. Too bad there ain't any Nick's hounds around here. Plenty of skeevers, though. I'm gonna need to catch some anyway for food. Might as well have a good training one first. Oh my god, how retarded is this guy? Okay, so we go further into the vaults and we find the skeevers cage. Oh yes, you beautiful creature. Come with me. So obviously the skeever will follow you, but also you can tell it to go and find food. And it will. And look, it's found some food. Some dog meat and rabbit legs. And then I can say, okay, come with me again and we can take him off on another adventure. But if you get hungry in Skyrim survival mode, you know, maybe it's quite useful, but to be honest, it's not that useful, is it? We can we kind of always know where food is. Hello, Screech. Screechy boy. In Convanga Cave, just here on the map, we can find our spider pet. Here we are outside the cave. It looks like it's been ridden by spiders. In fact, they've actually killed mammoths here and planted eggs within their corpses. Out of my way, you silly creatures. I am a Khajiit. Get out of here. I will kill all of you. Let's go through this secret passage into the vampire's den. Which... Hello there. Why are they on the table? What the... Look out, Lydia. It's a vampire. Look out, Lydia. It's a naturalist vampire. What does that even mean? Is she, like, completely natural? Oh, I'm... Okay. Well done, Lydia. You've killed her. You've saved us both. Oh, you see what I mean? The skeever just blocks my way. It's so annoying. Do you think your hand's gonna stop this arrow? <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> okay, okay. Show me. Lydia, please. Please, Lydia. Damn it, woman. Thank you. On the vampire naturalist, we find the spider cage key, and we also get the journal, so we can see why this guy is crazy. While my siblings may be obsessed with the taste that fear imbues in the blood of mortals, I find that pain leads to a much more potent sweetness, and nothing is quite so capable of causing pain as a venomous frostbite spider. But alas, the unusual method of harvesting frostbite venom involves killing the spider, a costly and dangerous venture. Far too little venom can be obtained through violent methods for the experiments I wish to conduct. To that end, I have captured a frostbite spider from the deeper cave so that I may regularly collect its venom, which seems to be unusually potent as I discover that it appears to have some measure of intelligence and I have been attempting to teach it to obey certain orders. Oh, how delicious it would be to have a tame spider entangle my prey on command. I think I will name it Arachnia. Claim our frostbite spider. You are now mine. Give me. Look how beautiful he is. Spin a web trap. Oh, beautiful. It has pooed me a web of destruction. Now, I just want to test this out. Like, what happens if I get my spider and I say, hey, Spin a web trap. Oh, wow, he just poos it out everywhere. Okay, now come over here and then spin another web trap just here. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's beautiful. Oh, you can only have one at a time. Okay, so now if I attack this guard and he has to run across it, what happens with the web trap? Wait a second. No, no, don't fire arrows at me. Run over the trap. Oh, my God. He's been paralyzed. For how long, though? Okay, he gets paralyzed for a few seconds. Now we must travel to the alchemist shack here on the south of Skyrim to find a tamed rabbit. I'm looking forward to hearing this story. To be honest, I actually quite like just reading the stories of these mods. They're quite well put together, they make sense, and they're pretty funny. Haha, <laughs> I can say to my skeever pet, Scritch, stay here, this is your new home. Oh, hello. Thistle. Hey, buddy. Are you hungry? Find a treat for the rabbit. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a note here. Notes on rabbits. The rabbits here seem particularly adept at sniffing out potion ingredients. I recently found one nibbling at my thistle plant and managed to capture it. It's my hope that I'll be able to train it to lead me to the most bountiful flora. 22nd of second seed. The rabbit which I have decided to name Thistle in honor of the carefully cultivated plants it managed to destroy is showing great promise. It has proven to be quite tame and even rather intelligent. Getting it to respond to commands, however, can be a bit of a trial. I resort lying it with carrots. 
Okay, so I need to get a carrot. Maybe there's a carrot in the alchemy satchel. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ, that spider scared me. Hey, Thistle, want a treat? So now Thistle is mine, I can say, come with me. Go and find an ingredient. Go, Thistle, go. And he goes, okay. Wow, look at this gameplay, guys. Oh, yes. I'm following a rabbit. Okay, right, I guess he's taking me to the bloody alchemy shack because there's a ton of ingredients in here. Thanks, Thistle. Good rabbit. Who is our good rabbit? I think this creature is also not really going to be that useful. Because you can so easily find ingredients as it is in Skyrim. You don't really need a rabbit to help you. Other than it just being a cute follower, it's a bit pointless. Just download Dover Rabbit instead, you know. So now we're on to the last creature, which is a fox. For this, we must come here to the Half Moon Mill, and then south of it, we'll find the fox. If you guys haven't seen my video on the Half Moon Mill, check out my lore video. It's such a cool location. Very interesting. There is a secret vampire living there, and I will show you in the video all the clues as to why that is. So as you can see, we're currently being attacked by some cultists, and my spider is just, it doesn't care. Okay, so I'm heading south and trying to find wherever this fox is. Oh, here he is. Oh, okay. That's so sad. I actually love foxes, though. Take sweet roll. Oh, hey, buddy. Are you hungry? So, Thief's Journal. Here we go. Fourth of first seed. I guess being Bosma really does give me away with animals. This little fox wandered up to me today, bold as brass, and started begging for treats. I didn't have anything on me at the time but a pet, but a sweet rock. It seemed to like that well enough. I wonder if this gift with animal works with horses. It would make stealing them dead easy. <laughs> 15th of first seed. The furry nuisance won't leave me alone. It's been following me everywhere, even down to the sewers. At least it's quiet enough that it won't alert the guards. The fox has a real nose for sniffing out valuables. Just this morning, she dug a silver locket out of mud. I never would have seen it if she hadn't started pouring at it in the ground. She must be attracted to shiny things. Can't say I blame her, really. Finding sweet rolls has turned out to be the best stroke of luck I've had in a while. She's got better eyes and instincts than any thief I've ever met, including Vex. I can't remember the last time a coin purse was this heavy. I'm starting to jingle like a battalion of Imperials when I walk. I think I'll try this animal taming thing for the wolves outside of town. Some of the other thieves have been eyeing me recently. They would think twice about jumping me if I had a wolf at my heels. Oh, so I guess he tried to tame a wolf and that's how he died. Let's take these five sweet rolls. And then I can feed sweet roll the sweet roll. Now, she loves me instead. So, if we say to the fox, go and find something valuable. Let's see how long it takes her to find it. Ooh, it's a really good fox. Okay, so now I'm in the middle of a town. If I tell him to find something valuable, Sweet Roll couldn't find anything. You useless bugger. Sweet Roll couldn't find anything. There's a chest full of treasure just here. What do you want from me, Sweet Roll? You may not be finding cool stuff. Like, I mean, I think if you take the time to talk to Sweet Roll, ask him to find you something valuable and he can't find it. You've probably already found the necklace which is sitting on the counter already. So unless you just want a fox following you, it's kind of pointless. In my opinion, the spider for his spider trap and the goat for being able to carry stuff are the two most useful followers. Come at me. Come on my web trap. No. Yes. Yes. Now kill him, Lydia. Finish him. Get wrecked. Oh, he's still alive. She's just playing with him, isn't she? She was just like, yeah, stand up, and then just kills him immediately. And also, you can only have two of these pathetic creatures following you at once, including a follower as well. So do bear that in. Did you just fire a shot at my spider fan? You are going to get wrecked. Huh? You think you can walk? Arrow to the knee, mate. Get wrecked, son. Personally, I think both of these mods are pretty fun, and I enjoyed both, and I'll probably still use Pets of Skyrim just for fun videos and stuff. And Rare Curios is more of a nostalgic thing for me, and if it is your cup of tea, I can understand people buying these two things, just not Nordic jewellery. Now, I will be reviewing my watch, and I'll do a full walkthrough video of it very soon, so keep your eyes out for that. But thanks for watching this video, guys. Give the video a like if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.